This program is brought to you by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. Today, today I believe, today I believe he's my savior. Today I believe uh, that I am everything that his blood made. I, I believe that, I believe that. I, I remind myself, I put that on purpose in my memory. I think on these things, I think on these things, I think on these things. I, I get in here, I think on these things. I just don't wake up in the morning, oh, I'm a Christian under grace, I'm glad I know that. I don't wanna have just an education in my mind, I wanna have a practice in my life. Do you ever feel yourself slowly becoming disconnected? Grace Life Academy is here to serve you in areas you need in your life. You'll have access to interactive Bible lessons that include features like e-courses, study guides, quizzes, and hundreds of hours of online teachings from Creflo Dollar. And you can do that using just 15 minutes a day and joining Grace Life Academy. Start your 30-day free trial or go online and visit mygracelifeacademy.com. in our life where success is concerned if we would start providing immediate action to when the Holy Spirit starts speaking to us and telling us what to do. A lot of stuff will begin to happen. Procrastination is an enemy to that success. Procrastination is an enemy to that type of progress. Procrastination is an enemy to that type of safety and preservation. And I, I just thank God that he was merciful and kind enough, I didn't get what I deserved. And, uh, you know, had I died in that wreck, I'd, I would have been dead for almost 20 years and missed out on all of this wonderful stuff. And I'm telling you, it just pays to listen and to cooperate with the Holy Spirit and not allow procrastination to keep you in places that will keep you on the outside of your success and the thing of God. Y'all understand what I'm saying right there? That, that's, a, that's a big deal, big deal. Let me give you another example. Maybe you need a, a financial change. A lot of people need a financial change, right? <laughs> Maybe you need a financial change. And the Bible says, you know, give. And you may say, well, that won't fix it. How that's going to fix it? What they going to do with anything? You follow what I'm saying? See, you've been given in the past, but, but this time was special. He said, Give. All right? And so the first action step that you know to take um, is to go ahead and, and to do it quickly. God will show you the next step. Just do what he tells you to do quickly. And then what happens? Your miracle will be waiting there. Take action now. Don't procrastinate. I need you to turn to somebody and say, take action now. Don't procrastinate. Look at James chapter 4 and verse 13. Uh, James chapter 4, verse 13. And uh, when you get there, we'll look at 13 and 14. Now, verse 13 says, now notice how he says this, Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow we will go into such a, a city. I want to read that again. Go to now. Who's he talking about go to now? The guy that says, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> he says, we'll go into such a city and then we'll continue there a year and then we'll buy and sell and we'll get gain. And then he says in verse 14, whereas you know not what shall be on tomorrow. What's your life? It's even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. He says, you got to be careful about that word tomorrow. <laughs> it might not show up. So don't put off for tomorrow what you can do, what? Today. So whatever we, whatever we plan on doing for Christ, do it now. Do it now. 
James says in so many words that tomorrow is the most dangerous word in the Bible. It is lazy, it is presumptuous, and it is reckless. Wow. The word that God prefers, in fact, I'll show it to you. Here's what God, God prefers instead of saying, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, I'll put it off. I, I'm, I'm going to do it right now. And for whatever reason, I'm tired. I won't do it right now. Oh, I can do it later. And he says, dude, don't be talking about what you can do tomorrow. Life is like a vapor. You, can you imagine the number of people who are not here who had something planned for tomorrow? All right? So, so check this out. Uh, Hebrews 3.13, and then Hebrews 4.7, and then Psalms 119. I thought I had just like two or three scriptures, but watch this. But, I, but, but exhort one another daily while it's called today. He said, do it while it's called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Do it today. Do it now. What are some of the things you can do today? You can love today. You can forgive today. You can be encouraging today. You know, when it's time for you to go, you ought to be, you ought to be ready to go. You ought not be, well, no, there's some things I need to get done first. I, I'm pretty good. It's like, I'm, I'm really just here for you. I'm, 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 I've done everything I wanted to do. I love you. That's why I try to tell you as much as I can when I'm out here preaching. I, you know, I love y'all. I love y'all. I, I feel that thing. It might not mean none to y'all, but it's like, I feel that thing. So, but it's like today, today, do it today. Do it today. And we keep procrastinating this. So he would rather hear you talk about what you'll do today rather than you talk about what you're going to do tomorrow. That's what he wants to hear. And then look at uh, chapter 4, Hebrews 4, 7. Hebrews 4, 7, he says, again, he limited a certain day, saying in David, today, after so long a time, uh, as it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Today, 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 not tomorrow. Today, 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 today. <laughs> and look at uh, Psalms 119, 60. This is going to change your life because you're going to be tempted to do this, you know, tomorrow what you can do today, and hopefully this message just starts ringing on the inside of you. Let me do it right now. Let me do it right now. Let me do it right now. All right, look at this. Verse 60. He says, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. In those days when they were keeping the commandments, they were saying, I, I did that now. I did it today. Today, we don't want to make haste in having faith in what Jesus has already done for us and believing what Jesus has done for us. And, and, and believe it now. Don't wait until something happens to believe it. Believe it today. Believe it today. Believe, it, believe that I'm, I'm a success today. Believe that I'm healed today. Do it today. And then do it every day. Do it, do it each day. Do, you know, don't walk around saying, well, I have knowledge of this, but I'm not practicing this. Practice your faith. Practice the presence of God. Do it today. There's nothing wrong with you getting up and saying, you know, God, I just thank you so much that I am blessed today, that today I'm healed. Today's going to be a good day. What did he say? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We, we should have a lot that we need to be saying every day. Why, why are we saying it? Because we believe it. So that's the real deal. Why are we not saying it? Maybe we don't believe it. Examine this, because when this is right and full, your mouth will just correspond with what you believe. I, I want to stay hot on what I believe. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he's forgiven me of my sins. I believe I'm the righteousness of God. I believe that I am blessed. I believe that the Holy Spirit lives and abides in me. I believe that I'm an heir of the whole world. I believe it. I believe it. And, 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 I, and I spend time with what I believe. And guess what? That stuff's coming out of my mouth. That stuff's coming out of my mouth because I am examining every day what I believe, what I believe. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Guard your heart, guard your eyes, your ears, your mouth, guard your heart. Why, Why guard your heart? He says, because there's things coming out of it. Out of it flows the issues of life. One translation says the forces of life. The issues of your very life flow out of your heart. The very, the, the, not only the issues of your life, but, your, the, but the words out of your mouth flow out. Everything flows out of your heart. 
Those words that you speak flow out your heart. You're going to say what you believe. You're going to say what you believe. People tell on themselves. If you, if you understand this principle, just sit back and listen to people as they tell on themselves. They're going to say what they believe. Today. Today I believe. Today I believe he's my Savior. Today I believe uh, that I am everything that his blood made. I, I believe that. I believe that. I, I remind myself. I put that on purpose in my memory. I think on these things. I think on these things. I think on these things. I, I get in here. I think on these things. I just don't wake up in the morning. Oh, I'm a Christian under grace. I'm glad I know that. I don't want to have just an education in my mind. I want to have a practice in my life. And then everything comes out like it's supposed to come out. Oh, praise God. Turn your neighbor and say, no, no, no procrastination in my life. No procrastination in my life. <laughs> I made haste and delayed not to keep your commandments. In other words, what I got out of this was be a now person. Be a N-O-W, now person. Say out loud, I'm a now person. Not a tomorrow person. I'm a now person. I'm a now person. Well, I'm going to go look for a job later. Well, I'm going to go and get this degree. I've been, I know I need to get it. I'm going to go get this certification. I'm going to invest in myself today. I'm going to quit cussing so much. I'm going to yeah, be a now person. Be a now person. I'm going to be nicer to my spouse. I'm, 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 I'm going to stop watching so much TV. I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm not going to eat so much sweet. Every time you look around, you got a honey bun in your hand. It's just like, and they do look delicious. I saw one last night. I saw one last night at a high school basketball game. This kid came around with a honey bun. I was like, Lord, put that baby in the microwave for about, what, 10 seconds? Oh, you remember the cinnamon rolls that you used to unfold? <laughs> you used to take them out and just unroll them and eat them piece by piece? Amen. <laughs> now, let's take it a step further. The Bible uh, takes a strong stance against procrastination. And um, he takes a strong stance against not doing things with immediate action, not being that now person. Look at James 4, 17. I wanted to read it out of the King James and amplify it. James chapter 4, 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good... This is the thing that changed my whole life. I'm, I'm, I'm having to face what I know. And I'm having to realize the truth that I know, but I'm not doing. And I'm realizing knowing stuff and not doing stuff. I mean, so I know to do good to him who knows to do good, and he doeth it not. He said to him, it's sin. And I pretty much put everybody on the planet in that category. See, while you're trying to talk about how you're just awesome and all these things, this one right here just nails everybody. How many times we knew to do good and we didn't do it? Man, to, to, to know to do good for somebody else, and, 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 I, and I just I didn't do it because I just, I don't know, I was occupied with something at the time. Or maybe I felt was feeling kind of sorry for myself. You got to be, it's very dangerous for you to insert yourself in every, every situation. It's not about you. It's about you being blessed so you can really impact somebody else's life. And it's so tempting at times to insert yourself in the situation because nobody knows what you really do. <laughs> if you hang around that long enough, you start getting depressed and sad because don't nobody know what you do. And the problem with that is now you're needing validation because of, you know, nobody knows what you do. And so you're hungry for validation because nobody knows what you do. Oh, if, if, if they really knew what I did, if they really knew the sacrifice, if they really knew, if they really knew. But here's the deal. I don't want you to ever forget this. There are people that have done amazing things. They have lived and they are gone and they've done amazing things and nobody, nobody will ever know about it. But let me tell you something. When you do what you do, out of your heart, then you won't need anybody to validate you. When you are sincere about what you do, you don't need, you don't need nobody to ever validate you. 
And it's fun to be sincere about what you do and not have to search for the validation. The social media age is very interesting because the social media age, age promotes um, performance. Yeah. I want to put something out, then I want to go see how I performed. And then it says, well, you didn't, you didn't, um, you know, you didn't do it, you, you know, it, the degree of it has to get even more intense because you're working for the approval. And how did it perform? And how did it perform? That, that's sad. It's just, what's wrong with that? You know, the world is crazy right now. It's crazy right now. I'm getting ready to set up a meeting with some mayors and governors about coming up with a a, a sex task force mm -hmm. for sex trafficking, just like a drug task force, and they bust in your house and get the drugs. I need to take this tax money. There's 60,000 kids missing, mm -hmm. yeah. and there needs to be a task force to put together to bust up some. See, their strategy. Every every type of thing develops a strategy. And they need to study the strategy, become aware of the strategy, and stop this stuff. And I will remind you that you have a daughter. And it's not even daughters now. And, and this is, a, this is a, it's become, it's rising to an epidemic level. And I'm like, when are y'all understanding that this is in, until it comes to your house? Are you following what I'm saying? It's weird. It's weird. There, there are weird things going on, weird kind of stuff going on. There, the acceptable lifestyle is being accepted by every lifestyle. And it's okay for a teenager to do all kinds of odd sexual acts that you, the parents, don't even know anything about because it's accepted in their crew, so it's cool to do. Some of the most nasty stuff you ever heard before in your life. Some of y'all need to get out. You need to start talking to people younger than you so they can tell you stuff that'll blow your mind. And I'm like, it's all performance-based, working for approval. I need you to approve me. I'm sad. I don't have friends. I need you to approve me. I'm not getting it from the parents. Nobody's ever proud of me. I need you to approve me. And I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to get your approval, even if it's wrong. I, I need approval. I'm hungry and thirsty for approval. And I am saying that when they encounter us as Christians, we should give them something that Christ has given us that'll make them feel so good about being a Christian and they'll want to be a Christian. Oh, we got a lot of good things going on, but here's the thing that it could got me. You know to do good. You don't do it. Procrastination. What good has been lurking around your life and it hadn't happened yet? It hadn't happened yet. Uh, something will change in you if you'll just start kind of letting it happen. I know to do good. Let me, let me do something. Let me just do something good. We used to have this member. Um, she used to sit right there and just as sweet as she wanted to be. And she came and she said, Pastor Dollar, the times change. I think some of y'all remember Miss Sarah Talley. The times change, and when it get dark, I can't see to get to church at night. So forgive me, but I won't be on Wednesday nights because it's dark. And, uh, and she said, you know, by the way, my car is having trouble. You need to get me a car. <laughs> she was that forward. Well, sweetest lady I've met for in my life. Well, I said, Miss Sarah, what kind of car you want? Nothing too fancy. I like the Chevrolets. <laughs> what, what's your color? Gave me her color, and I went and got a car. No, you say, oh, had I not gotten a car, I would not be able to sleep no more. Not because of her, but because I knew that I was supposed to do that before she even said it. And I had a problem because I should have did it before she said it. When she passed, one of the things she wanted to do, I don't know if she wanted her ashes spread on, on her church grounds. Yeah, I, I want my ashes spread around on the church. I said, the church? I said, they cut, cut the grass and they're going to be picking your ashes up. So, 
sweetest, sweetest, sweetest lady. I think she was over our interaction department when we first started. Interaction department. Just sweet, 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 sweet lady. And what do you know to do good that you have it marked with procrastination? It, it'll, it'll change your life. It'll change your life. I mean, just starting with her opened me up. I think I ended up buying like over 100 cars because I knew to do good in those situations. What do you know to do good? I think you're doing good for what you know to do good opens up doors for somebody to do good for you. I call it a do-good seed. And that's not always doing good to people that deserve, but it really works when somebody has hurt you, offended you, and did something wrong, and then instead of you retaliating, you do a do-good. That blows their mind. Like, why are you doing good to me after I cussed you out last night? Yeah, because I know to do good. You may not, but I know to do good. That's powerful. That's powerful. No procrastination. See, procrastination paralyzes progress. Where is it that God's trying to get you? That procrastination is trying to paralyze you. God's trying to get you to a certain place. He's trying to promote all of us to that certain place. I don't want little issues like this to be the culprit of why I'm not reaching this place where God wants me to be, to attain what he wants me to get a hold of because I didn't recognize how procrastination is really stopping a lot of stuff. Um, have we looked at Acts? Acts 24? Look at Acts 24, 24, verse 24 through 25. You know, this, this verse of Scripture, it really talks about a person who says, well, yeah, you know, Paul, I hear what you're saying. I, I'm under conviction, but, you know, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get saved at a later time. Look at what he says here. He says, uh, and, and after certain days when, when Felix came with his wife, uh, Drusilla, which was uh, a, a Jewish uh, Jesuit, he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. He heard this. And then verse 25, um, and as he reasoned of righteousness, temperance, and judgment to come, Felix trembled and answered, go thy way for this time. When I have convenient season, I'll call for you. Wow. Yeah, I know that I need to be, you know, responding to this message right now, but I, I, not, not now. Not now. This is procrastination. We see here no immediate action just procrastination. That's what you see. I heard what you said. This is not the time. I'll call you well, when I can. See, that procrastination is going to lead to failure, and that procrastination is going to lead to no change. Failure and no change. It robs you of an opportunity to be successful. Now, there are a couple of problems with or concerning procrastination. Number one, Procrastination, get this, does not take into account the uncertainty of life. So while people are operating in procrastination, it does not take into account the uncertainties of life. How many of you know life is filled with a lot of uncertainties? And procrastination doesn't take that into account. Let me show you what I'm saying uh, with Scripture. Proverbs 27 and 1 and then I'll show you an example in, in uh, Luke chapter 12 with this guy building many barns. And then I'll, I'll look at Ephesians chapter 5. But in Proverbs 27 and 1, he says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knoweth not what a day may bring forth. Uncertainties of life. Don't procrastinate uncertainties of life. I certainly, certainly did not know that I was going to be in a death situation, staring death in the face. I mean, literally staring death in the face. I'm talking about I left. I don't know how all that worked, but I was, I saw a group of folks unfocused. And as I got closer to them and they got closer to me, they began to come into focus. And God said, no, not now, too much unfinished work. And then everything that was in front of me appeared. Um, I certainly didn't think that would come that day. 
It's time for real change. Eliminate bad habits that stunt your growth and embrace God's best for your life. It all starts by changing the way you think. God has so much that He wants to do for you. And He's trying to get you to see what He sees. And if you discover the grace over your life and the will of God for your life, you'll begin to see what God sees. This series taught me that change only happens when you renew your mind. But if you want godly change, you must renew your mind based on God's Word and His grace. You can also receive today's full message for only $7. Or for $20, the New You Bundle helps you understand how to break mental strongholds and receive God's grace for change. This bundle includes both the Your New Life by Grace CD series and the How to Renew Your Mind CD series, all for just $20. Order now at creflodollarministries.org or call the number on the screen for more information. Trinidad and Tobago, the 2021 Virtual Change Experience is coming to your home. God is about to open some doors that no man will be able to close. God is about to set some stuff up that nobody could set up. God is about to give you favor that nobody could give favor to. The, the messages is just fully loaded with truth that our generation and our society needs today. He goes to detail to give you understanding and he breaks it down so you get a full understanding, and it's awesome. St. John 14, verse 6, he says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. It will definitely make a mark in your life that cannot be erased. You don't want to miss this experience. Register now for this free event by logging on to CreploDollarMinistries.org. I think you would be amazed at what Creflo Dollar Ministry does every day around the world. Testimonies come in from all over about the impact we have. And I wish you could see the kids we feed. Their lives are changed and impacted for the better because of you, our givers. The seeds you sow into this ministry make a mark that, uh, that can never be erased. And I want to thank you so much for your financial contributions into the kingdom of God and into this ministry. If God has placed it on your heart to support the vision of this ministry to reach the world with the gospel of grace, you may call in to make your financial donations or log on to creflodollarministries.org. God bless you. Sermon Songs is back, and this time we're getting face-to-face -face with our emotions. Sermon Songs Volume 4 is available now and features new music from Creflo Dollar featuring Jordan Dollar, including the hit singles Faith Strong, Faith Strong yeah, my Faith Strong and Joy. Visit www.sermonsongs.com to download and stream today. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe.